Hi guys. I am cooking alone this week. Amanda's away and this is our condiments week. So I am doing one of the finalists, which is a fresh sriracha sauce. Um, if you've never had sriracha before, this is what it looks like when you buy it in a bottle in the store. Um, it's a very spicy chili sauce that you can find actually in most supermarkets these days. And it's a really, really spicy, flavorful, fresh, you know, chili sauce. Um, so this is a, a fresh version and it's by Edamame 2003. And it starts with these beautiful Fresno peppers, which look a little bit like cherry tomatoes. And they are apparently a pretty seasonal item. And if you can't find them, I think you could, you know, substitute some other hot red pepper, um, you know, whatever you can get your hands on. And whenever you're handling hot peppers, you really need to be careful about your fingers. Um, getting, you know, all the spicy oils on them because then if you rub your eyes or, you know, lick your fingers or whatever, you're going to be in a lot of pain. So what I do um, as my trick, and Amanda actually taught me this, is I take a piece of uh, plastic wrap and I kind of wrap my hand, sort of like a claw, in a makeshift glove. If you have surgical gloves, those would work a lot better. And then you just use the hand that's got the plastic on it to handle the pepper. Roughly, and you do keep the seeds, which are the, the spicy part, along with the, uh, the spine in the middle. And then as you chop them up, I'm just putting them into this pot. They're gonna go in there with some vinegar and some salt, and they're going to um, brine, essentially, overnight. And I'm just gonna do it right in the, in the pot that I'm gonna cook it in later on because it seems easier just to use one thing. Get one thing dirty. So got all the chopped up Fresno peppers in the pot with their seeds and now I'm just going to take the skins off of four cloves of garlic. Oh, including a nice moldy one. It's only moldy in one spot. I'll take that off and we'll still use it. <laughs> Waste not, want not. And these don't need to stay, you know, fully whole, but they don't need to be chopped either. Everything's getting blended at the end. Garlic's in, then a teaspoon of salt, kosher salt, and a cup of just plain white distilled vinegar. And just give these a mix through. And then you can just put this in the fridge as is overnight or for, you know, at least six hours or so. So this has now been brining, the peppers and garlic have been brining, and we are going to add some palm sugar, which is also known as jaggery. And it's very sticky and it comes in this bag. So you're gonna have to wash your hands after you measure it out. And you just put two tablespoons in and you just wanna bring this up to a boil. I'm gonna stir it a little bit until the sugar feels like it's dissolved. So the peppers and garlic and sugar and salt and vinegar have cooled. I'm gonna pour it carefully into my blender. Do not get any of this in your eyes because you will be very sorry. <laughs> Yikes. I have gotten hot pepper in my eye before and slight fear of it. Okay, and now Edamame 2003, <clears throat> I just got some pepper down my throat, recommends that you blend this for a full five minutes, which we were kind of skeptical about, but it actually does make a really big difference in terms of how smooth it looks and the color you'll see. So I'm gonna get it going. So the last step is to strain it through a fine mesh strainer just to get rid of any last bits of pepper skin or seeds. And it actually goes through very easily. And obviously this depends on your patience, but I recommend trying to get every last little bit of sauce through here. You'll be happy you did. And you could just serve that really with pretty much anything that calls for hot sauce. And this is something, you know, a little more interesting than you might normally have. I'm gonna dip a little bit of bread in there and taste it. I'm gonna be cautious, because it is spicy. Woo! 
and it's got heat, but it also has this amazing brightness from the vinegar and from the peppers themselves. And just a tiny bit of sweetness from the cane sugar. It's so delicious. And I'm whew, getting a little overheated, <laughs> but it's really, really good. Thank you so much, Edamame2003, for such a great recipe.